six foot two, 230 pound running back Lorenzo Talaferro is looking to become just the second Coastal Carolina offensive back to play in the NFL. Just trying to keep keep grinding, you know, make sure I'm in shape. So if I do get that call, whether I get invited to camp, I'm just in the best shape of my life to make the team trying to get my mind off about just keep working. And the Yorktown, Virginia product has been doing just that. Scoop. Good. Head down, head down, bring it down, bring it down. Training with speed and agility trainer and Sockesty native Terrence Butler two to three times a week. He works hard, 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 hard. It's constant uphill, just ready to go. Um, and I think that's, that's why he'll make it, and that's why he'll be a great pro. While looking up to Adrian Peterson and Super Bowl champion Marshawn Lynch. I just go out there, and, and although I model these guys, I, my, my saying in my head is I'm going to be better than that. I want to leave a mark on the field. Talaferro has left his mark and cemented his name in Coastal Carolina and Big South history, setting numerous records, including the all-time single-season rushing mark. But despite these accomplishments, he knows there's a lot more work to do to get to the next level. There's over 3,000, 4,000 people that um, that's entered into the draft, and you know they're only taking about 256. So. You just got to separate yourself, even if you get that chance or even if you don't get a chance at the draft. If you get invited, you just got to separate yourself. This shot of clear has already had workouts with some NFL teams and is projected to be drafted between the fourth and seventh round one week from Saturday. The same day, he becomes the first college graduate of his family. Getting drafted, that's just, just something amazing. Both of them are two amazing things, but in one day, it's just unbelievable.